So here we have the Mini 5-door hatchback on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which is 17,635. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer or fuel economy information, including this digital readout for the speedometer. If we back out to the uh, steering wheel, on the left hand side first of all we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side both stereo and phone controls the phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car which is done over on the touch screen in the center just here by hitting the phone icon and then you would manage mobile devices and follow the instructions on screen from there as you see the screen is touch screen but you can also make all of the movements on the screen using this dial just here and the collection of buttons that surround it so for example we're on the main menu at the moment uh, but you can turn the dial to satellite navigation, uh, for instance. Um, really nice clear colour display on this system. We've done a full video showing how this works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. We can come back out to the home screen. Uh, and down here, uh, you'll see that we've got access to our radio and media, which means you can listen to the radio, of course, DAB and FM. But you can listen to your own music as well under either Bluetooth audio or... Uh, USB input which you can see just there. Working our way down from that we have dual zone climate control so you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed, determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, air conditioning's on at the minute so that's off, back on again, or hit auto, uh, the car will maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you and you can hear it doing that in the background. If you press auto again, you'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We have heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same over on the passenger side just here as well. Uh, beneath all of that, we've got the button to start and stop the engine for the car. We can turn off the traction control. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that orange light shows. You can also turn your parking sensors on and off. We have a 12 volt charging socket and the USB input for your music and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.